Welcome back, welcome back. Welcome to a new vlog, new weekly. My name's Nicola, this is Mark, and oh. <laughs> you're Mark. <laughs> we are, guess where we're heading? Guess. Five guesses. Did you get it on the first one? To the hospital to see my dad. <laughs> so we're first, we're gonna go to Dunelm because we want to look for a big candle for the, no. what is that lantern. called? Lantern, that's it. I always forget the name of that. A big candle for the lantern. And also we might have a look at a mattress topper that's nice and thick um, that might help me when I'm trying to sleep because of my hips and my back. So we're gonna have a look at those things in Dunelm and then we're gonna go to the hospital. Marky boy here is going out. out, out. <laughs> He's going out, out. He's going to the pub with his boss and a few people because for it's for his birthday. His birthday on Tuesday, yeah. So they're gonna go and have a few drinks and play cards. Is that right? Yeah. And this afternoon, while Mark's out, I am going to go through because he's got some of the stuff down from the loft. We're sorting the loft out this weekend and i'm going to go through a few of the things mark's got down i want to do an interim wardrobe change because it's neither winter nor spring it's in the middle so i need to sort that out so you can help me do that later and there's loads and loads of photo albums so i'm going to look through a few photo albums as well I also want to sit and watch a few of my old vlogs. Like I want to watch the one where we went to Brimfield last year on holiday. I just, that's another reason I, I do the videos because it is literally like little home movies that I can, and anyone can look back on in the future. So, and I loved our little trip to Brimfield, apart from getting ill, we were just saying. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna watch that later, I think, and probably other vlogs not that aren't mine. So yeah, let's head off to Dunham. Oh, by the way, have you noticed my hair? Have you noticed it? Had it professionally coloured yesterday, back to brunette. So they had to put <laughs> like a paint stripper on my hair <laughs> for, <laughs> to get the red out. And then I wanted it, I didn't want it to look black but she said the ends will look dark because of all the years of me colouring my hair. But I do really like it. I'm really pleased with it. And it's very soft. So anyway, let's go to Dunelm. What size, it'll be the size difference. Okay. What does it say at the bottom? Super King, double. What are we? Yeah, we're a double. Yeah, what's that one there? 37.50. Hmm. Yeah, these won't be as thick. Double. That's yeah, maybe. that's a protector. That's oh, a mattress sure, yeah. protector. Yeah, sure, yeah. We want a topper. There's plenty of pillars here, like 15 pounds. They've got one of those in home bargains for 4.99. Oh really? But I don't think they're in this home bargains. That's quite cool, isn't it? Yeah, Stripey. Yeah. Um, it's a home bargains over there, is it? Yeah. Or you've got something like this, but you need one of them. Might look a bit silly in it, might not it? Ain't these, you've got to clean the lantern, haven't you? I know. Or put plain. something, put it on a little tray or something yeah. for it to melt it's into. Done, like this, look. Right, we've got to show them the size of this candle that we got in Home Bargains. <laughs> it's huge. It's a big one. Five ninety nine. see? In um, Dunelm, that was £15. Hello. <laughs> it's a candle. <laughs> It's not going to be hollow, is it? She's got an out a bit. So <laughs> dropped straight in. Last about you two hours. You wally. So this is the top, top, topper, the topper that we got in a double because our bed's double, and it was originally seventy-five pounds, but it was reduced to thirty-seven fifty. So I'm hoping it's going to be really good. And then I got, even though we've got a double bed, I got a king size fitted sheet to go over the top so that it will give more room to put the sheet if you see what i mean so i'm going to take it out of the packet 
and I've got to undo that and let it you know bounce up a bit so fluff up before I put it on so I just got back from the hospital I dropped Mark off because he's at the pub this afternoon and dad wasn't good we got there and the nurse said he'd had a fall um, they're supposed to be with them once like all the time but you can't be can you like when you're on a ward full of other people you can't always be there all the time so he fell over and when we got there he was crying which I don't know if I've ever seen my dad cry oh yeah I did at my nan's funeral but that's the only time I think I've seen him cry and he said that work um, will let him go because he can't work while he's like this and what do you say you can't I'm so I just said you'll be alright dad you know it's like I can't tell him actually you don't work you're retired you're in hospital and you're going to a care home because you're not going to live for much longer you can't say that so <laughs> then he was just talking absolute rubbish about work about his car about everything so then he had a fishing magazine and I started looking through the fishing magazine and we talked about when I used to go fishing with him when I was a little girl and I ended up with a fish in the tree with a <laughs> the line stuck to it and then I said about when I fell in <laughs> and scared all the fish away and he remembered all of it his long term memory is really good but it's just like the here and now he has no idea what's going on so we stayed for a bit and then reluctantly I left him but he was okay for me to go he said oh am I coming with you I said no not yet dad later and then I had to tell the nurse because she had to go back in with him while while um, we weren't there so it wasn't the best and then I found out mum's been bleeding again so it's all it's a lot it's a lot and like I said to mum I wish I could take both of their pain away and all their problems but I can't I'm just going to try and do the jobs that I'm going to do this afternoon I'm going to watch the vlog and try and take my mind off of it as much as possible because I can feel it affecting my fibro and I don't want that so it's a really nice sunny day actually and I really wanted to go for a walk but I don't know if I've got the energy now I feel like that has just zapped my energy. <laughs> Sorry if I do keep going on about my dad and my mum and everything, but it's a big part of my life right now, and that's just how it's going to be for the foreseeable. It's not always going to be like this, but I know a lot of you are also interested in how my mum is doing. Obviously, none of you know my dad, but you know me and you care about me, so therefore you would want to know about dad but yeah anyway I'll try not to keep talking about him and yeah let's let's get on with sorting the wardrobe out and I'm gonna fluff this topper up right we've put well Mark's put everything in Poppy's room for me to sort through these say Holly's costumes so I'm assuming these are her dance costumes from all her dance shows which I don't know if she still wants I mean what the hell is that what is that <laughs> I just don't know what half of this is um, oh there's some dance shoes there I think it's just costumes over the years that she's had to buy that was from a wedding I don't know whose wedding that was from, but it's from a wedding. Um, I don't think she needs any of this. We shall uh, sort through that, and then these are all my summer clothes in these bags. These are Poppy's old toys that she wants to keep. Oh look, there's a Perry the Platypus hat. Anyone seen our America, Florida vlogs when they were little? Little, sorry. Um, Poppy bought this in Florida and she wore it all the time and she also had the Donald the Duck one because <laughs> she's a Fruit Loop 
and look we've got Wally I love Wally she's got all her figures there's a Harry Potter thing there some coins Toy Story loads of things in there so that's all Poppy's stuff put her hats back so that can go back in the loft but Mark thought um, Poppy might want to see them if she phones me up so I can show her <laughs> and she'll probably say I want that <laughs> and then all in these are photo albums I used to have all these in the dresser in the lounge but then we put all the games in there and I haven't got room for them all, all now so they go in the loft but it's a shame because you can't see them all when they're in the loft and they oh look look how ruined it's getting and I used to make all these photo books I think this is um the Lake District Pooley Bridge this is when we went to the Lake District with the girls oh sorry it's trying to do this one-handed and we took Evie as well oh look <laughs> look at us oh my goodness on the boat there's Eve that was where we stayed and it was very haunted but yeah it was a nice memory but I need to try and get it to flatten so I might put it in between two of these heavier albums I've got this one as well look look at it it's not good so I'm going to sort that out as well and then we will sort out the wardrobe right I'm looking through our album still and look at that so this is proof that I had a nice figure once <laughs> I was probably about Holly's size here because which is about an eight eight to ten because I she fitted in my wedding dress and this was before we got married. Yeah look at that I actually had a bikini body once in my life. Not now, but once I did. <laughs> it's quite depressing actually. <laughs> Guys, I've just found these, right? We got these when we went to Florida on our honeymoon in 1998 and yeah that's the topper there I'm just letting it puff up look they're like vintage he's sort of got a bit of a damage to his mouth there but she's still got her veil on and look we got these for $20 in 1998 has it got a, I just said Sri Lanka but it was from Florida so how much do you reckon that's worth now if we paid $20 in 1998 leave a comment below I'd be interested to see how much you reckon these are worth now but I was just thinking because you know I've got my Mickey up here with the 2016 when we went what about putting it next to them hang on will I be able to reach <laughs> I just didn't I'm a little bit too short. Right, let's put, there we go. Look. Oh, they look so cute. Yeah. Yeah, that's really cute. I like it. I like it a lot. Right, I promise I am getting round to the wardrobe, but I just wanted to show you this photo album, these pictures. So here's my stepdad, John. He's holding Holly. This is Holly when she was little. And then I want to show you my biological dad. This is my biological dad. His name's Roger. And this is the one that's now in hospital on palliative care. So none of you have seen him before because he never wanted to be on the videos. But he doesn't care about... <laughs> he, he, he hasn't got a clue what's going on now. And like I say, he's got weeks left to live. So he won't worry about this. But... Yeah, he's holding Holly here in the hospital. But that, is, that was my dad. That was how dad looked. But he doesn't look like that now. He's literally so thin. So, yeah. But I just wanted to show you <laughs> that that's my biological dad, Roger, who's in the hospital right now. My back is in pieces. When I tell you it's in pieces, it's in pieces. <laughs> Oh, it hurts so bad. <laughs> I'm just having to sit on my bed at the moment. But I'm, I've got this situation. So these all need to be washed. 
because they're all creased from being in the loft but these are all good interim wardrobe items these are cardigans these tops literally I've stitched this one so many times I've repaired it so many times I think it was under the arms and it's gone like a grey white it's not a pleasant white anymore so I think I'm going to have to say goodbye to it even though I loved it so much and this one I tried to get the stain it's not coming up on here at all but there's a really bad stain on this and I tried to get it out and I can't um, it doesn't <laughs> you cannot see it at all on this camera and I, I can't see it under these lights but it is there I promise you it's it's not good and again that's sad because I love that top but anyway so <sighs> why do I do these things why tell me why I don't like Mondays tell me why <laughs> don't get delusional now so now my job is to hoik out whatever is too wintry in there and replace with these but I've got to wash them first whilst Mark is at the pub having several pints playing cards having a lovely time <laughs> to be fair I'm enjoying listening to my Rob and Josh podcast so you know swings and roundabouts but I have forgotten to eat lunch but never mind I'm sure I'll survive okay back needs to get better and then I can get back to it okay I think I'm done so that's some of stuff that's too summery for now this is my these are my winter 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 clothes that I don't need at the moment um, it leaves me with quite a lot <laughs> in my wardrobe let me show you some in between outfits that I've tried to put together so I've got this nice top and this long creamy looking cardigan that I thought would look nice with jeggings or leggings this dress I love this dress so much it's one of my favorites you've probably seen me in it many a time and this looks great with a denim jacket and like at the moment I can put black leggings under it and then when it gets warmer I could just put my cycle shorts underneath it so that's a good interim um dress to have in here i've still got quite a few wintry dresses like that one this one's more of a springy summer one that one's more wintry i've still got my denim dresses in here because i wear them a lot then i've got some long sleeve tops these are all just cardigans because i've put all the other stuff in the wash so i'll have to hang that up later if i can find room more cardigans oh this is a good one as well so this is a sleeveless let me hang it up this is sleeveless top and then the green cardigan over the top of it so again it's good for not too hot not too cold just in the middle but you don't want like to wear long sleeve stuff then that's a good option so that's all done now for the interim wardrobe and i've seen that i could do with a couple more white summer tops so I need to look out for them and also I've from all my summer stuff in here that's got to go back in the loft until more of the summer I've noticed that I haven't got any three-quarter length oh what's that what's is that just fluff I think that's fluff yeah um I haven't got any three-quarter length trousers I need to get some of them as well I've seen some on the Shein website actually that are quite reasonable so I might order those because I have got like the three quarter length leggings but I do need more of them because my black pair honestly I've stitched them up so many times I do need another black pair I've got a navy pair but I need another black pair and then I need some three quarter length shorty things actually there is another there's got to be another bag of summer stuff because none of my shorts were in there so I think Mark's missed that. But we're doing it again tomorrow. So he might come across that bag then. But anyway. I'm going to go have a piece of sourdough toast. Because you know. Who even am I? And then I'm going to sit and watch the Brimfield vlog. And look at photo albums. Happy Sunday fun day. There's a shot of Mark's bum. <laughs> going up into the loft. 
here. Sorry? No fun here. <laughs> yes, there is. We're sorting the loft out again, day two. So I went through all the boxes yesterday, as you could see, and now Mark is going to pass some things down and we're going to try and arrange, well, he's going to try and arrange the loft. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, they can go. Just throwing things at them. They're the old Christmas Eve boxes we don't need anymore. <laughs> so yeah, we're just sorting out. We're gonna, Mark wants to clear a, a pathway um, so he can walk down the middle of the loft to get to either side. So that's what we're trying to do today. <laughs> and not get hit by falling boxes. We are gonna meet Holly and Louis later and Louis's dog Teddy for a walk. Hopefully it's not gonna rain because it's raining, I think, at the moment. But um yeah that's the plan of action today so i'm gonna get these boxes and collapse them right we've got holly's teddies to keep and holly's teddy we've got loads of holly's teddies in here so i think this is mine actually yep this was my creepy doll this is called goldilocks you'll have nightmares about this yes that that was my doll that i kept Goldilocks, you're still going, mate. You're still going. <laughs> Look at the feet. <laughs> right, okay. Scary doll over there. If she moves, I'm out of here. Um, Holly's Christmas teddy bear, 2013. What else have we got in here? She had, they have so many builder bears. Builder bears still a thing, but not where we are. You'd have to go to like, I think there's one at Lakeside. I can't get it out. I'm going to have to rip this bag in a minute. This is a builder bear. <laughs> look, at, look at that. She's got her boots on. She's got a dress and a cardigan. I mean, she can't get rid of these. What else we got? I think these are all builder bears, actually. Is this builder bear? This looks like an Eevee dog. It is an Eevee dog. <laughs> it's a squashed face Eevee dog. What's it called? Kelsey. Oh, she named it Kelsey. I think that was after High School Musical. But it's quite a squashed Eevee dog. Has it moved yet? <laughs> creepy doll, creepy doll. Legoland. Cute. Right, so far I've got this lot that we don't need. And these are the ones that we do need, doll hasn't moved yet. And now I'm gonna go through, this is Poppy's teddies, and go through these ones. Oh, and I found two little, rain because she used, Holly used to be in the rainbows and brownies, Poppy didn't do that, it wasn't a jam really. Um, but I'm gonna give these to our friend's daughter who's in the rainbows. Mark's just gone to Sainsbury's. It's sometimes easier if he runs in without me because I take a lot longer than him. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, he's gone to get some, we're doing the lamb hot pot tonight, so he needed to get some mash and I think he said he's going to get a dessert, although I said I shouldn't really have dessert, but it's Sunday, so I want to treat him as well because he's got to go to Wembley near London tomorrow and Tuesday and he hates it going there. So um, he deserves to have one last treat <laughs> before he heads back to work. It's going to be really weird not having him at home now because I've got used to it again but we're just heading out now to go and walk Louis's dog Teddy with Holly and Louis um, we've got some duck food voila <laughs> we remember well Mark remembered it I didn't remember it because we always forget it but the rain stopped as well which is a bonus the loft's all sorted now we've finished that it's just a few boxes for Holly to sort out that are in her room so she could do that next week Teddy! Sniffs! Sniff a dog! Has he not been to this one? Has he not? <laughs> He's lovely, isn't he? Go for a walk in Evie's favourite place, Ted. Has he been here before? Ah, plenty of new smells then. We remember the duck food.
Go, Teddy, go. Look how muddy it is. <laughs> this is how much rain we've had, isn't it? Squelch. Yeah, more yep. <laughs> Teddy's just seen a squirrel. <laughs> he legged it after him. <laughs> Did you see it off, Ted? <laughs> One dirty dog. So I normally do two poos. We call him two poo Ted. Two poo Ted. Are you a two poo Ted? <laughs> see his tree, Ted. Can you get up there? Yay! Hi. Ted! Where is he? Oh, he's there. Ted's! The ducks, Ted. Tuppence a bag. We stood there last time, didn't we? It's quite a good place to. Is it duckies, Teddy? Do you want me to hold him so you can feed them? Right. <laughs> Ted's like, can I have some? <laughs> if it can eat it off the ground can it? Oh there's a scrap going on. Fight, fight, fight. Ted, fight. Chef Mark is cooking up the mince. <laughs> We've got um lamb hot pot haven't we tonight? Hot pot. Hot pot, lamb hot pot, green beans and broccoli. And we cheated and bought ready mash didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna go on top. But you've seen me make this before. These French inspired lentils, which make all the difference. And then I've just got a lamb casserole mix in there. So this is what it looks like when it's all done. And it's got the cheese on top. And now it's gonna go in the oven for half an hour on 200. A little longer than a few minutes later. Listen to that bubble. Oh, so that's what it looks like when it comes out. We had a bit of a nightmare, the green beans had gone off and they went all brown. So we just got broccoli. <laughs> but you watch, hang on. Oh, like I say, this does four meals for us, well two meals, you know. You just cut it into fours. Oh, look at that. Yes. Oh, I'm steamed up. Happy Manic Monday. Just another Manic Monday. Sun's shining, that's why I've got my glasses on. Guess where I've got to go? Guess where I've got to go on my own? To see my dad in hospital. And I don't like going on my own because I don't like having to find things to talk about. I find it really awkward. But anyway, whatever, I'm going. And the amount of buzzy bees out at the moment. So many, I just accidentally trapped one in the door and had to open it quick because I heard it buzzing. Anyway, I've got to go because I'm running late. I'll catch you later. Two hours later. Right, okay, just come out of the hospital. I'm just going to have some lunch, we'll say lunch, it's a hot cross bun. <laughs> That's what I did for myself um, before I go into Asda to get um, something I need. But I won't go into loads of things because I promised I wouldn't keep going on about Dad. So he still thinks he's at work and he said he'd have to walk home. I said, no, you won't. Anyway, I stayed about an hour and a half. 
which is basically as much as me and my body and mental health can do at the moment now i'm just about to have this oh nearly lost it and go into asda <laughs> and um then get back to record the fibro section it's a beautiful day out there i think it's supposed to rain the rest of the week and i really hope not because it's like giving us a glimpse of spring and then taking it away again <laughs> which isn't the best is it i'm okay i've seen dad on my own um now it's time to to get back and chill out for a bit and then do some recording right i'm home honey i'm home absolutely shattered <laughs> I'm thinking oh my god I've got to film a fibro section yet but and I've got to edit another video as well another Wednesday upload but it keeps me busy and it keeps my mind busy because that's what I don't want playing tricks on me you know I just thought I'd show you this top that I got from next the other day um it's really really pretty let me show you it's in an 18 and it costs 21 pounds and it's that better cotton which helps farming and stuff apparently but look how pretty it is it's like mini palm trees and a creamy greeny print which I'm all there for I love I love my neutrals as you know and what I like is I like this bit along here that makes it fan out at the bottom because I find that quite flattering especially with my tummy after all my surgeries I like things that are loose and not too tight but then this gives you a little bit of shape so yeah let me go back a bit so you can see it all so that's really pretty isn't it it's got this little bow here as well no I was really pleased with that for £21 I'm gonna wear that a lot in this spring and summer I want to show you what I got from Asda I saw this for Poppy's Easter egg hunt and I thought oh that looks nice it's a a chocolate Easter slab with um, sweet fried eggs on it. Can't remember how much it was to be honest. And then I got these for the Easter bags that I'm doing for the family. And I thought they were really cute. The little, <laughs> the little bums in the pots, and they've got like little tails on. I thought they were so sweet. So I got those as well. Right, yesterday I made this butterfly for my niece. Zen who it's her birthday today but she is in Norfolk so I'm not seeing her for a little while so I thought right I'm going to jazz it up today so this was just plain wood like this and it had all the the cutout bits and I painted it like I say yesterday and I'm just going to use my Bostic glue and some embellishments to jazz it up a little bit but I put him some googly eyes on which is quite funny <laughs> Let me show you. Oh, there you go. He's got googly eyes. Um, so I'm just going to, I'm actually going to glue the embellishments on because when I gave mum that heart, I lost some of them. So I think if I glue them, they're going to stay a bit better, aren't they? Oh, just try and take the back of that one off. A little bit of glue, you don't need a lot. And then. I'll put one there like that. I'm going to put one the other side. One there. Like that. Looks like it's got little arms. <laughs> I don't want to overdo it with embellishments but I think that's that's quite nice so 
So, one butterfly for my niece. Hello. Happy Tuesday, isn't it? It's Tuesday. Right. For this morning, before I go and get my nails done, which haven't been too bad this this time. I only lost this one, but the rest stayed on. Anyway, we're going to do the Easter bags for everybody. So these are the Easter bags that I bought last year, and I've got enough spare for this year. So that's good. I'm going to put all the stuff over the table, and then see what I can put in each bag. I don't think, well I know I haven't got enough tags to put on the gift bags so I need to get them today I just get plain white gift tags and then I might add some stickers or something to it so if you're watching this and you're like one of the parents or Lisa or um, Poppy oh no Poppy doesn't get one who gets one my sister doesn't watch it I think it's just the parents and and Lisa if you're watching then skip forward this bit otherwise you're going to know what you've got it's up to you if you want the surprise ruined your choice <laughs> Let's lift you up a bit. There's one of the bags done. So they've got a flower pot in there, chocolate egg. That is one of the bags done, but it just needs a label to go on there to say whose it is. So this will probably be like one of the dads because it's got the little flower pot. Um, the, these bunnies that I've got, they're like velour bunnies, they're going to go for like the mums and the sisters. So I'm going to give those to them. They're all done, my back is in pieces. So for anyone that says, why don't you do them Nick, you could sell those bags, you know. Yeah I could, but I've just done nine bags and my back is in absolute pieces. So probably not, to be honest unless I want a shop back all the time. I've still got tons of these. I think these literally cost me like a couple of quid off of eBay and I've still got all these left for years to come. <laughs> so back they go for next year. <laughs> but I've done all of the, the bags. Like I say, I need to get some labels and do those later so that I know whose is whose and I was going to work out a cost per bag roughly you know but I've been left with this much chocolate I've got one lollipop left two eggs and then these sheep and chicks I did count and there's not enough to put one extra in each bag plus I was never going to go back and open each bag and put an extra thing in because I can't be doing with that so I'm just going to find a nice little Easter bowl to put this in and I guarantee when Mr Lord comes in from work today that will be being consumed <laughs> it's a dreary old day today I did think it was going to rain but it's not supposed to that's, that's your weather forecast for today it's dreary but not raining right now I'm going to have a bit of a rest actually I'll get the vlog ready for tomorrow's upload was it five past ten mm -hmm. I've got just 
over an hour until I need to go and get my nails done. So I think I'm going to bring you with me today to get nails done. And you can see what Easter ones I have. I did put a poll on Instagram and asked what ones you preferred. So I'm going for the ones that everyone chose. By the way, I found my labels. So I have put the summer of colours and some are just white. Um, but I've put all the labels on now. They're massive, aren't they? <laughs> but at least I can read them easily. <laughs> Okay, I've just come back from visiting my mum and my dad. Um, she's okay. She seemed quite perky, but she's still got um, 35 mil of fluid coming out, so she can't have the drain taken out yet. So she's a bit annoyed about that, but hopefully going in the right direction. Here are my Easter nails. So these are the ones I went for. These are the ones everyone chose. I think they're really pretty. Look at the little bunny. Pretty, pretty. And then I nipped to Tesco's. I got one of these for the haul because you know I cannot stand cooking smells. And we light candles at night, but I thought this could go off all throughout the day. It's one of these aerosol free sprays. So, and this one is in the scent Jasmine and Apple. It's a Stacey Solomon one. So I'll let you know how I get on with that. But I was cross because they had an offer on the wine. It was six bottles for 25% off and it never came off my bill. So I think I've chosen the wrong six bottles. I got, I just chose what I thought six bottles looked all right. I got a Hardy's um, and I've got this for Easter. I got a Rosé Blush because we've got all the family over for Easter. This is a Sauvignon. But when it came to the till, it didn't come off. So I'm gonna to have to take my receipt in and see what I can do about it really, and a Prosecco. But it's rather annoying because I could have saved 10 pounds and I haven't, but it's very unclear there's six, there's six bottles for 25%. They should have like a section just for them in. Oh dear, I bought this for Mark. Mark, yeah. I bought you a present, but it's broken. You can still eat it. Got spinach for our tart tonight. And of course, the bird's fat balls because they've gone through the packet that I did have already. So there we go. Now I'm going to sort all this out. And this is not going well. <laughs> and change the battery by the looks of it.
good morning. Happy towel wash Wednesday. Uh, towels are on currently there. <laughs> I've got me little packed lunch to have after I've seen dad in the hospital. That's wonky. I am loving at the moment my interim wardrobe because it's quite mild but it's not summer yet. <laughs> You know, it's actually, I think today is the first day of spring. I might have got that wrong, but I'm sure I saw that on Facebook yesterday. But let me show you what I'm wearing today. So, I've just got this. <laughs> this top has been an absolute blinder for me. I got this from a charity shop in Frinton. And it was literally two or three pounds. It is in a size 22, so hence plenty of room. But... You know that I like <laughs> loosey goosey rather than, you know, tighty tops. So I've got this on with my old next jeggings, and I've even changed from my black ankle boots to my next navy pumps today. So I'm wearing it with my white cardigan and I might take a jacket just in case but I probably won't wear it and then I've just put my hair oh that looks a bit messy there in little plait things let me see if I can show you um two plaits to the back that's all I've done but there's a bit of mess there so I might clip that up in a minute <laughs> so that's what I'm wearing my interim wardrobe and I've got a few things I wanted to show you. So the first thing, I order my AA batteries in bulk. There's 20 here and they came from Amazon. They were £13. I will link them in the description for you because I compared them to Groupon and Amazon was cheaper than Groupon. So yeah, I got those ones because I use them in my heart lights in the lounge and lots of different places so these will last me a good few months now which is great then yesterday I worked out the cost per Easter bag because I was interested myself so I worked out that nine bags cost me like 27 pence because I bought them in bulk buy two pots of chocolates were 4.98 um, the bag of eggs were $2.99, two bags of chocolate lollies were $1.98, the nine wafer rolls were $1.35, two flower pot bunny packs were £2, the four bunnies were £4. That all comes to $17.57, which works out $1.95 per person. So $1.95 per gift bag, which I don't think is too bad. And to be honest, I had enough left over that I could have made more. So that could have been even cheaper. I had, well, I probably had enough for one more bag. So yeah, that would have been even cheaper. So it, it is cheap to make your own Easter bags, but it depends. Some people like a proper Easter egg, don't they? So it just depends what people like. I like either, I'm happy with either, but I just like doing the Easter bags. I think it's a, just a little bit different. And then today, I'll show you in a minute um, what it looks like on, but I've got a new lipstick. You know I always go for my Maybelline Superstay in matte ink. And this colour is 60 um, Poet. Let me see if that will focus for you. Uh, that's about as good as it's going to get, I think. Poet, it's called. Number 60. So let me show you it on. And this is the colour. And I thought it was quite a nice summery, fresh, spring summery colour because it's not too heavy. I like the really dark colours of winter on my lips as Mark does but I like in spring and summer a fresh like peachy colour. I'm still going to be using that purpley one I've got as well because I love that but this is a really nice one for spring summer because the one that I used to use like this was number 65 I think it was seductress but I thought oh I'm gonna try this one number 60 which is a shade lighter so yeah I'm quite pleased with that and I shall be wearing that a lot one tip I will give with these lipsticks right so apply it let it dry for a couple of minutes and then get yourself a piece of kitchen roll and blot until it's clear because otherwise, 
when you have a drink or eat something, it's still going to transfer because you've got the residue. So if you get rid of all that, then you won't transfer onto a cup or anything and it's you can feel pretty safe it's not going to go on your teeth because i get i get that a lot like if you smile or talk you're like it's all over my teeth <laughs> and the last thing i'm going to show you so i need to do my toenails today that desperately need painting and i'm going to go for this one i think this was from the pound shop i think which would obviously be a pound but don't hold me to that because i can't remember but it's a really lovely color and i thought it would go nicely with my Easter nails and any nails I have done for the like the spring. So, it, I mean, I, when I do my toenails, I don't change it until like they look terrible now. So they really do need doing. But yeah, I'm going to do that later when I get back. So I'm going to leave it out to remind myself. Yeah. Right, just arrived at Pets at Home. I am absolutely exhausted right i <laughs> spent two hours with dad today which is the most i've ever spent with him which is fine um at hospital i mean not just in general and he had another visitor as well one of their friends so she came which was lovely because we could you know have a chat because sometimes it's hard to find things to talk about with dad he just keeps talking about I won't, I won't go on about dad because i said i wouldn't but he just keeps talking about going home from work he thinks he's still at work and he said they, they don't want me i'm not doing anything and i said well you're all right dad i'll just try and reassure him really i'm just gonna have something to eat because i've not eaten anything yet and i need to take my tablets he said they're not going to want I, I need to go home i'll have to catch the bus i said you won't need to catch the bus dad i said either me or pam will pick you up when it's time to go or they'll send you in a in an in a in an ambulance in a car so he said right and then a little while later he says the same thing then he wanted to get up and go for a wee so i have to follow him because he will fall and he has a he has a zimmer frame um and then he went to the front desk and said do you know if they're going to need me for work here next week? Because, you know, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> but they were very good. Well, he wanted two wees. And it's a palaver when you have to get up twice. Because he's, you know, not good on his feet at all. So I'm trying to help him with that. Then I want to make sure he's eating something. So I stay with him and make sure... He's had his jelly and ice cream. He, could, he had a sandwich today, but he couldn't eat it. Because it was too chewy and claggy in his mouth. So... I said just leave that and eat your jelly and ice cream and I managed to get the telly to work for him because my, my stepmom put a day on it yesterday but today I tried to renew it for another day and it oh it was a nightmare it took me the about an hour to get it to work but eventually I've managed to do it but it keeps going wrong it keeps having these lines at the top of his and it's all cracked screen so I think it needs replacing really go and get the things and then go home and collapse because I feel very flary and I think that's the thing at the moment I've got to think about myself because it's all very well and good taking care of everybody around you but you do need to look after yourself as well because if you don't look after yourself then you can't look after others <laughs> I forgot to tell you Poppy is playing football today as well for her university team and she's it's a massive day at a different university and they all come together and they play each other and it's not only football it's um, netball it's basketball it's uh, cheerleading there's so much going on um, it's a whole day but it's 20 past three now and she kicks off at half three she's playing defense so I told my dad because he loves football and he loves that Poppy plays it and he said, oh, let me know how she gets on. So I said, yeah, of course I will. He'll have forgotten tomorrow. But I'll remind him when I go again. But yeah. Good luck, Poppy. You're going to smash it. I've just had a delivery of new car mats. Isn't that exciting? Well, it is for me. So I went on, it's literally carmats.co.uk. Um, and 
this set cost me oh it goes that way that's right because the rubber's on the back isn't it this whole set cost me 24 pounds including postage and they have all the different ones there you go that's the website carmats.co.uk and they have all different ones so this was a basic basic car mat for my kia sportage which is the car i have and you could this bit here where your heels you know go on the driving side you could have that in rubber if you wanted to but i wanted to have it in just a double padding thing and that was part of the price if you wanted rubber it was more more cost but you could have like higher grade ones but i just went for the basic ones and i think they're all right you know they've got the rubber back they're all made perfectly to fit the kia with the hooks because i've got hooks on on my car mats so yeah i'm really pleased with them it was quite fast delivery so if you're interested i'm not sponsored not sponsored wish I was carmats.co.uk and grab yourself some new car mats as this one has got holes all in this bit so it looks really scruffy and we've got a nice car so i wanted to it to look nice you know sorry if you don't like feet but honestly look at the state of my toenails <laughs> they need painting i haven't even got any on them two little ones right let's get these beauties looking a bit more beautiful there we go much better but i'm not very good at it i prefer to get it done professionally but you know it will do they look a bit more you know better well they look a bit more better that doesn't make sense they look better than they did before there you go happy weird thursday it's weird thursday it's gonna be weird all day i'm in another interim top <laughs> interim top so this one is just this black is it on glaze they call that and i have a vest top underneath because you know i don't really want everyone to see my bra <laughs> not that i'm going anywhere today weird thursday weather's still quite nice the sun's gone in now but i have got the door open let me see if you can see that there we go door is open as soon as the weather's nice like a little bit of nice the door goes open because i love fresh air i don't know about anyone else but i just feel with the doors shut i feel claustrophobic i feel yucky i just want the fresh air coming through i just i don't know why i just i've always loved it and that's why i love the lounge being at the back because the doors can open fully in the summer and it's lovely anyway I am going to sort, before I edit this, I'm going to sort out Mark's snack area by his chair. Let me show you. So this is Mark's chair. This is where he sits every day. And this is his snack station. <laughs> so we've still got chocolates from Christmas. He's got sweets there from Christmas. This is an old rusty biscuit tin that I'm going to get rid of. And then he's got all this lot. So because i'm going to get rid of this biscuit tin i've nabbed one of poppy's this was poppy's old biscuit tin and i've put him a new bag of biscuits in there for today and he's got some new crackers to have in the evening and i'm going to hoik this out and sort it out right i'm going to wash this first because it looks a bit grim but he's just like he's taken a bite of this and left it he, it just all needs sorting out and then I'm going to sort this lot out as well. He's got all these chocolate bananas, which are his favourites. So I'm going to try and find a tub for them to go in because it's not very, you know, just having them in a box. So I'm going to put them in a tub as well. But I'm going to wash this out and then sort it all out. Can you hear that? Can you hear that bird? A lovely little bird song. I love it. Anyway, um, yes, here we go. So I've put all his biscuits in that jar now. I've washed the basket and sorted it all out. His bananas are now in a plastic tub and the other tins are over there. So that looks much better, doesn't it? Right, I'm just about to start editing, which usually takes me a few hours, as you know. 
so i think i'm going to leave the vlog here this week i've got something to tell you before i go i have made a qr code for my channel so if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you'd like to then hover your phone if you're watching this on a smart tv over the qr code and it will take you straight to my channel where you can subscribe um don't forget to hit the thumbs up don't forget to leave me a nice comment i hope you've enjoyed this weekly and i will see you all on wednesday and i hope you have a lovely weekend i hope the sun still shines but it's not supposed to so take your raincoat <laughs> take care bye